Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royal tea. So why did Meghan name, Meghan and Harry name the child Lilibet? Lilibet? That's so much more personal than naming the child Elizabeth. Okay, there are a lot of Elizabeths around, a lot. Okay, but naming the child Lilibet, this is not even the formal name of Elizabeth. Let me read you a tweet because I think this tweet really says it all. Lilibet Diana, naming your child after the head of the institution that supposedly pushed you to suicide. I don't know about that one. And I think that's kind of any sensible person's take on it. It, it doesn't make sense. Uh, so the first question I want to ask, I have many questions about this. Did they ask permission? Okay, or did they just take it? Okay, because I think they just took it. But I want to see what the cards say. Did they call up the queen and say, Oh, you know, I love you so much, Grandma, that we're going to name our child after you? Or did they just do it and, you know, wait for the drama to pop off? So, did they ask permission? Devil. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Devil and player and two spades. I think you... Oh, six spades. I think you know the answer. But we're going to read these cards. So, did they ask... Did they call queen, the queen and say, Hey, you know, honored queen, we're going to name our child after you. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not. We have sixes here, which are relationship cards. We have twos here. We have dark twos. The two dark twos, one dark six, one light six. We have jacks. Player is very sneaky and clever. The devil will do anything. The heart of this spread is the devil. The devil's a liar. The devil's a murderer. The devil wants to hurt you. The devil wants to cause drama drama jazz hands drama so devil handcuffs and broken chalice two spades a broken relationship no they didn't ask devil they're trying to create drama and they're trying to hurt this is the devil is always malicious uh, the devil is never a nice person, okay? The devil is the opposite of the angel. Angels work for God. They are the messengers of God. They are the hands and feet of God. The devil and demonic energy is opposed to everything good and everything that God does. So it's very malicious. It's like a jab at the royal family, plus adding player to this. It's, uh, it's, it's just drama. So committed to hurting the royal family. And of course they didn't ask. So 11 and 4, 15, 4 clubs. They just took, Megan will use anything for shade. She's the shadiest person in the world. She'll use anything for shade, even naming her daughter. Uh, she just felt like this was the right time and... You know, along those lines, where is Megan's African heritage that she crows about so much? Where is, where is her African heritage represented in this child? Elizabeth or Liz, Lilibet Diana. These are both royal names and all they do is spew about how they hate the royal family and how they're trying to kill them and oppress them. So making a play on, it's, uh, it's, this is like, diamonds are about money. Making a play on the connection to the royal family, it's all about money, honey. Uh, five diamonds, step by step, making their path in the world. Six spades, nine diamonds, another. Talking about the negative relationship with the royal family. Nine Diamonds is social media and talking. 
and messages. Uh, Mercury is a messenger. Uh, on an ongoing basis, man and mustard seed. Oh, what's that? So this is an honest man and planting this seed. They're letting you know that they're royal. They're not going to let it go. Let's add it up. 14, 19, 28, 34. 32 is 8 spades, 9 diamonds. So, almost seems spur of the moment. Uh, the devil... Okay, if this is the king of spades, the king of spades is very organized and has a plan. The devil is malicious and capricious. Literally... Megan and Harry, it's Megan. Megan is running everything. Megan could have literally just, at the last minute, decided to call the child Lilibet. Okay, it, that's the devil energy. That's the player energy. The player comes out of nowhere, goes, and is gone. The player comes in, gets what they want. You know, jacks are very young energy, very immature, very vengeful. The devil's very vengeful, very immature. They don't look forward into the future they're not planning anything just ca very capricious very malicious that's what i'm seeing here interesting uh let's look at how the queen is feeling about this so we're going to put harry and megan here and we're going to put the queen here what are her feelings about the child being called Lilibet, because I've heard, I haven't checked, I need to check, everything is happening so fast. Uh, you know, the baby was just announced yesterday. Uh, so my camera went out. So let's look at, I haven't been, uh, so the queen sent her blessings and probably the other family members congratulated them. I have to look, uh, I haven't had a chance to look yet. Uh, it's still early where I am, and it's going to take hours to get this up on YouTube. So, let's look at Harry and Meghan and the Queen. How is the Queen feeling about, and this is going to give us more insight into what Harry and Meghan are up to. Harry and Meghan. How is the Queen feeling about the baby being called Lilibet? No, not part of the royal family. Okay, what do we got? Over here on the queen, very publicly not part of the royal family. 19, five clubs. I think this is solidifying her decision to uh, put in abeyance or remove their titles. Removing their titles. If the queen removes the duke and duchess titles... Uh, which the Duke title was granted to Harry upon marriage, and Meghan is a Duchess only because Harry is a Duke by marriage. Uh, if, they, if she removes that, then Meghan becomes a princess. So it's quite a sticky wicket. It's not an easy problem to solve. Plus, if the, uh, if the prince title is going to be removed from Harry... That's quite a big decision. He is in the line of succession. He may need to be removed from the line of succession. It's kind of a big deal. And, you know, everybody, even the kids riding the special bus, that little short little bus, they realize that Harry and Meghan are not going to last and that Meghan is going to divorce Harry. So uh, I think this is making her, res making her more resolved to... Uh, put their titles in abeyance or solve this problem because they're just not royal. Not royal. Very publicly, not royal. Uh, and transforming, Butterfly is also transforming, transforming by stopping their relationship with the royals. S stopping them. This literally says stop. It doesn't say separate. It says stop. Stopping their relationship with the royal family. What's over here with Harry and Meghan? Ruler, which is the king and the crown, transforming the relationship with the ruler, 21, 27, 
seven clubs, their permanent relationship in front of all the people. So they're just, again and again and again, they're just using the royal titles for material gain, which is not supposed to be done. They're royals. They had all the money in the world. You don't need to constantly be pandering these titles uh, what are they going to, are they going to come up with a cola, royal crown cola? I think that one's already taken, but I mean, there's just nothing they won't. That's terrible. Okay. So money and roses, sweet, uh, sweet, sweet money, three clubs. Yeah. So it's, it's all about the money. It's all about the titles are equal money. And that's how Harry and Meghan see it. And they're turning the titles into money and Queen Elizabeth, uh, is not showing a lot of emotion, but she, it looks like she's showing determination to put a stop to them using the royal, the royal titles. Are they just super thirsty? They, you know, uh, so we see malice. She didn't ask. They didn't ask. They're making a play on it. Uh, are they just super thirsty? Uh, is this just drama they just want to create drama and drama equals money okay how does oprah make her living she's uh you know she interviewed megan and harry and there's the 17 mistruths that's drama 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 the more conflict and drama the more uh oprah star rises and the more money she makes okay that's what uh, Harry and Meghan are doing now. That's specifically what Meghan is doing, and Harry is following along in her train until she just cuts him off, which when she gets all the goodies, she will. Uh, additionally, this baby, this new baby, even though it's not related to Meghan, is now born in the United States, okay? When they divorce, there's going to be custody issues, okay? Now there's one baby born in the United States, and there's and Archie was born while they were in Britain. Hmm, interesting. That's going to create, I think that strengthens Megan's hand. And I think all of this does not go unnoticed by Megan and her team of attorneys, which she's probably already engaged. So is this just to create controversy? Is that what it is? Just drama, drama, drama. Why are they doing it? Okay. Ooh, wow. Look how negative that is. Is it all about the drama? Blockages, cutting, and kicked out. 14. The, this is all because they left and or were kicked out and blocked from the royal family. So it's just blow after blow. It's death by a thousand cuts. Um, interesting. They're just very, very upset about being kicked out of the royal family. Reacting conflict in the family. Nine, twelve, three spades, three spades. They're just continuing the conflict. The conflict is money. Uh, drama sells. Conflict sells. And they're selling conflict. So I think they've been, maybe they've been advised that the more conflict they can have with the royals, the better. But I think it's... I don't know. I think Harry's going too far. You have to be really careful what you say. I think Harry's already going too far. Harry has gone too far already. So they have to, you, they have to keep, they, their plan is to keep the conflict going. Keep throwing stones at the royals. They're never going to stop. But you, you have to be careful not to reveal too much too fast because then Everything, if you reveal too much, then everything after that big revelation, okay, and the, the big revelation was Archie's not a prince because of his skin color. Well, that's a lie, okay, but if that were found to be true, then everything after that is just an afterthought. It literally doesn't matter, uh, almost, because that's just going to stick in everybody's mind. And hopefully, you know, these mistruths, these lies, the 17 lies are going to stick in everybody's mind. So there's no mention of Doria uh, in, you know, why, why wasn't this baby named after Doria? 
uh, or or the the African side of Megan's family. Okay, there's just nothing there now. I I believe it's going to be a darker baby. So that is certainly a nod to the African heritage. It's going to be, you know, the baby's going to show some melon in, in her skin. More melon than Archie, no matter how much you color his hair black. Uh, and he's just going to look like he's French. French have black hair and light skin. I know this because I went to France. I'm like, oh. Uh, <clears throat> so... Was Doria involved in the birth at all? Okay, because there's just no mention of her. Was Doria involved? I mean, is Doria persona non grata, just like everyone in Megan's life? Was Doria involved in the birth? Because there's just no clue that she was there. Ooh. Oh. Oh, look at that. What's going on with Doria? Uh... Something really bad happened in their relationship, but Cross, Cross and Ten Diamonds are the uh, most solid cards. So a big change for Doria, this other woman. Okay, so there, there's something happened between them and they're, they're pissed at each other. 23, 33, 35, 32, plus three, nine clubs. So she's staying away. It doesn't look like she was terribly involved underneath. There is a conflict, something really upset, something really upsetting between Doria and Megan has occurred. And there's been a big change. Okay, but they're not telling us about it. But the cross is a very solid and permanent relationship. There's no, and it refreshes and renews endlessly. So I think they'll get back together. They're just, uh, fighting right now. What's underneath? Cornerstone, very solid relationship. Sun reveals all five and seven is 12. Three spades. Conflict, secret conflict. On the surface, everything is fine. They're not saying anything. They're keeping this conflict a secret. Underneath, it's really quite bad. Okay, so there's no indication other than the fact that we're not seeing Doria that there's a problem between Doria and Megan. So something has popped off and it's really bad, but there, the seven clubs says to me that this is going to eventually blow over and we're going to see more of Doria. But right now, uh, Megan is probably really upset about at Doria for something. Okay. We're, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Let's review. Did they ask the queen, Queen Elizabeth, Lilibet, which is her nickname, her very personal nickname that Philip used to call her, did they ask permission? Oh, heck no. Absolutely not. And it's malicious and it's, it's, uh, it's like impish. It's malicious. It's nasty. Absolutely they didn't. Two spades. Absolutely not. And it's malicious. And they're just going to keep doing this. This, this, their plan is to constantly throw stones at the royals. Interesting. Uh, so no, absolutely they didn't. How is the queen feeling about it? This just is increasing. She's not like throwing dishes and kicking her corgis. She's, she's not showing a huge emotional reaction. She looks very determined to put a stop to this nonsense, to the constant attacks on the royal family. That's putting a stop to it. And it's all, they're doing it for the money. This is their plan of how to get the money. And uh, it's just associating with the royal name. They're just playing on the royal titles. Okay, why did they do this? Is it to create more drama? It's because they're very upset. Megan is just driven by her emotions. Megan is absolutely driven by her emotions. And this Jack of Spades acts more, the devil acts much more emotionally than rationally. The king of spades and the queen of spades, they make long-term plans and they're very organized. The jack of spades and the jack of diamonds are not terribly organized. They're not organized. They're much more capricious and angry and emotional. Okay, so 
that's how Megan lives. She always comes at everybody very emotionally and she's always reacting to everything. Very, very reactive. So they're upset about being kicked out and they're just reacting. They're just throwing stones at the family. It's just pure drama, pure drama. No mention of Doria. There is a conflict they're not telling us. And if you ask them, hey, what about Doria? They're going to deny it, but there's a big conflict going on under the surface. But this seven club says that's going to be temporary. So, yeah, interesting. <laughs> so they definitely didn't ask the queen. And, and I think we're going to see more attacks and more attacks and more attacks until finally the royals shut this down somehow. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who contribute to my tea fund. Uh, please like. It helps the algorithm. Please subscribe, share, and I love to read your comments.